Hello, Mafia team, and welcome back to my Mafia adventures. On today's adventure, I am going to show you how I make my Forêt Noire cake or Black Forest cake. It was recently one of my sister's birthday and I decided why not, I am going to bake her one of my favorite cakes, okay? It is really my favorite cake, my only favorite cake. And I found this recipe online on this blog called Reinventing Nadine. She is awesome, I put her link down in the comments so please check her out. Uh, back to the recipe, so to make our forest cake we are going to need some all-purpose flour, some vanilla extract, baking powder, powdered sugar, heavy whipping cream, some milk, oil, sugar, cocoa powder, sliced almonds, cocktail fruit juice, um, and some cocktail fruit itself. So buy some cocktail fruit in heavy syrup or regular syrup. And finally, some eggs. First thing I always do when making this recipe is go ahead and drain the fruit cocktail and keep the syrup. So I am going to go ahead and drain it and set it aside while I continue with the rest of my recipe. In a bowl, I also mix the oil and milk together and set aside as I continue with the recipe. So I always try to put things together, set them aside because it makes things go quicker. I am now also going to sift some flour, cocoa powder, salt and baking powder and set that aside as well. In a separate bowl, I am going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to my five eggs. I'm now also going to add two cups of sugar to the egg and vanilla mixture and I'm going to mix them with my handheld uh, mixer. If you have a stand mixer, use that as well. Whichever it is that you have at your disposal, use that and mix it until you obtain a fluffy, airy mixture. Look at that guys, all those bubbles are very very important. You need those airy bubbles because that's what makes your cake. You want your sponge cake to be as fluffy as you can get it. I am now going to add the milk and oil mixture to it. It is also now time to add the dried ingredients. Remember our cocoa powder, our flour, salt and baking powder we're going to add it and using a baker's spatula we're going to slowly fold the mixture until it's all blended together your batter is going to be a beautiful nice chocolatey uh, looking thing uh. Ta-da! Our butter is ready. I am going to now prep the baking sheet and pan. And what I'm going to do is just put butter all around it and that does the job. It will prevent the cake from sticking to that pan when you bake it, okay? It is preferable to bake this if you have a 9 inch uh, pan, go ahead and divide the batter in two and bake it. But I didn't, I only had one baking pan so I used that. I put it in the oven for 30 minutes on 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that did the job. If you need more time, you can bake it for longer. Just make sure that you're checking on it so it doesn't burn, okay? What I am now also going to do since I have my oven going on is I'm going to bake the almonds in the oven for 10 minutes or until it is golden. Depending on how uh, thick your almond layer is, it might not even need 10 minutes. So you just need it to get golden and take it off from the oven. 
this is what they look like. They look beautiful and they smell just as beautiful, y'all. All right, y'all. While our cake is baking, I am going to go ahead and prep my whipped cream. I'm going to go ahead and get my heavy whipping cream, powdered sugar, and some vanilla extract. What I usually do is put my heavy whipping cream in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes to get it nice and cold. If you don't do that, put it at least in the freezer, uh, in the fridge rather, for a good hour to get it nice and chilled. And then mix those three ingredients. Again, it is the heavy whipping cream, your powdered sugar, and some vanilla extract and mix it until it is heavy nicely whipped snowy cream all right this is our whipped cream it is nice and heavy make sure you don't whip it for too long or mix it for too long because then it will turn into butter when you're done put that in the fridge and keep it cold this is our cake. Uh, what I do, I usually go ahead and cut it in three layers and let it all cool down. You need it to cool down before you put anything on there because if it is still warm and you put the whipped cream on there, it is going to melt it straight off. Remember that fruit cocktail we had draining while we started uh, when we started this recipe? What I'm gonna do is now go ahead and pour that juice, that fruit syrup, in a spray bottle and spray my cake with it. If you have another method that you like, uh, you use to spray your cake, go ahead and use that. Alright, I always start with my bottom layer, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some syrup. Make sure you don't spray too much on there, just a light mist. You don't want it to just break apart, okay? I am also gonna add a layer of fruit uh, cocktail. I love fruits, people. I love fruits. So my fruits are a little too much on here. Uh, once you get those fruits on there, also go ahead and add another, uh, a layer of uh, uh, whipped cream and then repeat that same process for uh, with the second layer as well. Okie doke, people. I have done the first and second layer, layered them with fruit and whipped cream. Now what I'm going to do is layer the side of the cake with some cream. We're just going to have some cream with this cake, y'all. If I read my steps correctly, this is step 15. We're going to stick the almonds to the cream. This is a messy process. It is very messy. So if you're doing this and it, the almonds are all over the place, trust me, it is part of the process. Did I say we're gonna eat cream? Yes, we're going to eat cream because what we're gonna do now is add the remaining cream in a pastry bag and decorate that last layer with it. You're gonna form some nice, pretty looking flowers or stars, whatever you call them. Whew, y'all, last step. Decorate that layer finally with some more fruits. Optional. Again, I love fruits, so I add fruits every step I can, okay? Um, and then go ahead and grate a light uh, sheet of semi sweet chocolate on top. And this is how I make my Black Forest cake. Don't forget to subscribe, follow, like, and share, and I will see you on our next adventure.